Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on what time you are watching this video. I just got home from work. I took Jax for a very long walk. I just made some dinner and then I thought, you know what, let's film an updated Disney office tour. I filmed like two of these on my channel already, but I keep redoing this room and you guys keep requesting to see the updated progress. So I thought, you know what, let's film it right now. The lighting is kind of nice. I have nothing else to do right now. So let's film an updated Disney themed office tour. Let's just get on into it. Yay! Welcome to my favorite room in my house. This is hands down the smallest room in the house, but it is definitely my favorite because it is so, so unique to me. When you walk in, you see one of my many pin boards. Fun fact, I had like nine pin boards in my house at one time, and then I realized that that was just like a little too many. Although you can never have too many pins, they were just taking up all the wall space. So I ended up keeping two of them in my office. This is the first one and it basically just has all of my very favorite pins. Like all of the pins that are very very meaningful to me. Pins that we got when we got engaged, pins that we got when we got married on our honeymoon, pins that were gifted to me from you guys, and just pins that I'm overall obsessed with. Fun fact, this is the very first pin I ever bought back in 2016. This is what sparked my pin obsession and I am not mad about it at all. So here is my first pin that I ever bought. And then this right here is my favorite Disney pin of ever because I love Halloween, I love fall, and I love Disney. It is just a match made in heaven. So I'm gonna give you another quick little overview of the pins that I have on this board. The second pin board that I have in this room is strictly Beauty and the Beast. As you guys know, or as most of you guys know, Beauty and the Beast is my all-time favorite Disney movie of ever. Belle is actual goals. So I'm trying to make a Disney Beauty and the Beast specific pin board, and you'll see that in just a little bit. From here, we have the door to get into this room. And then we make our way over to my very, very large bookshelf. Now I'm not going to go over the bookshelf completely because it is, it's pretty lengthy. But I'm going to just do like a quick little overview. All the way over here on the very bottom I just have, and I'm sorry that my camera tripod legs are in the way right now. My tripod is in this room as well as my camera. I'm filming on my vlogging camera right now, not that I vlog very often. But I also have my professional DSLR camera in here as well. So over here, I have all of my like spookier books. Picture of Adam and I, he stole her heart, so she stole his last name. I got that at my Disney themed bridal shower. And then my favorite popcorn bucket like that ever existed. I got this in a Gifts from Mickey subscription service and I'm obsessed. Over here, just a bunch of pictures. And then I have all of the Stein Larson books, or maybe not all of them, but all of like the girl ones, the girl with the dragon tattoo, the girl who played with fire, the girl who kicked the hornet's nest. Moving along is my favorite genre of books. It's all mystery books and horror books. And I know I love like everything like bright and sparkling and colorful, but when it comes to reading, I am obsessed. ob freaking obsessed with thrillers, and these are just a bunch of the thrillers that I own. Another favorite genre of mine, I feel like Harry Potter is its own genre altogether. This is my Harry Potter shelf. I have all my books, one of my wands from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, my DIY Golden Snitch, a Piggly Puff, or I Piggly Puff? I forget what they're called. Big fan I am. And then I have a little DIY jack-o'-lantern. It's a pygmy puff, I think. Guys, don't come at me in the comments, please. <laughs> Next up, I have all of the books that I read with my students. I am a teacher, and these are just like a handful of the books that we read together in my fifth grade classroom. All of my John Green books, such a good author. I'm like patiently waiting for his next book to come out. Then I have all of these books up here that just really don't have a category. They're kind of like just awesome-esque books, but they don't really have a specific category. 
And then up on the top of this one is all of the Collins books, which are like the Hunger Game books. Right up top we have Lotso. A theme in this room is Toy Story themed, and I'm trying to collect all of the authentic, official Toy Story figurines and Toy Story characters. So this is one of the first ones that you see in this room. And yes, his stomach smells like strawberries. So good. Moving right along, we have the next bookshelf, and on the top of this one is all of my Jodi Picoult books and all of like my mystery-ish type books and just like girl author books I guess you would call them. Moving on to my absolute favorite author, this is Nicola Sparks. This is a whole entire shelf that is just dedicated to Nicola Sparks. I am beyond obsessed. Like he is such a good writer. He paints such a pretty picture and my favorite book that he has ever written before is definitely The Last Song. Then I have another Disney shelf on here. I just have a frame with a bunch of my bridesmaids from when we went to Disney this summer for my bachelorette party. A Mrs. Potts that I got from Primark. Then I have an It's a Small World postcard. A Mickey Mouse little topiary that I made in one of my videos. And then Alice for obvious reasons. Next up, I have another picture of my girlfriends over some books that are also kind of like girl-esque themed. A sugar skull from the Mexico Pavilion in Epcot. And then over here, we just have a bunch of books that were written by quote-unquote celebrities. Next, I have a whole section that has the, I think it's Meyer or Mayer. She wrote all of these like sci-fi Disney fantasy-esque books. So Cinder obviously goes along with Cinderella. Scarlet goes along with Sleeping Beauty. I No, it doesn't. It goes along with Little Red Riding Hood. I don't even remember. It has been so, so long and since I've read that book. Cress goes along with Rapunzel. Winter goes along with Snow White and so on and so forth. More pictures. Down here are all of my Disney inspired books. So I have a bunch of like maps over here, pop up books over here, art of books over here, and just like random Disney books. Over here I have like a bunch of Walt Disney inspired books. Rapunzel. I believe I got her and this Disney's Beauty and the Beast tumbler with a little light up rose also in a Gifts from Mickey subscription service. Definitely check them out, they're ridiculous. More pictures from my bachelorette party and then some more books. And moving on, I'm literally crawling on the floor right now <laughs> to film this video. Like this is, this is what's happening right now. <laughs> On um, the next shelf, the very bottom shelf, are all my Sarah Dessen books. She writes very YA books and I like them a lot. Another picture of Adam and I when we did the color run and then all of the Fifty Shades books, which were interesting. <laughs> Over here are all of my Holocaust books. I try to introduce this with my fifth grade students. Some of these are child appropriate, some of these are not. I'm very big Holocaust buff, and I know it sounds bad, I don't mean it in like a bad way, but I'm just very interested in the history of the Holocaust, and I try to teach my students a bunch about the history of the Holocaust. So some of these I introduce with my students, but most of these are just adult reads. Then I have a pretty little vase in the back that's shaped like a heart, and then I have some flowers in it. More pictures of my girls, and another picture of Adam and I. Moving up here is my legit YA book selection. These are pretty much all of my favorite YA books. I know I keep saying I love horror books and I love thriller books, but I also have a very, very soft spot for YA books. And then over here is a postcard that Adam and I got when we went to Alani on our honeymoon. They placed this in our room and it's just so cute. It's a little stitch and he's on a surfboard and there's a little turtle coming up to him and it's so cute. More Disney stuff. This is from my bridal shower. This is the thank you that we gave to everybody and I just kept one for myself because I thought it was really cute. And then more Alice in Wonderland. Here I have my Jojo Moyes books, Obsessed, 
This is from a Magic at Your Door subscription service. It is an Enchanted Rose snow globe that makes music. It plays music. It's a music box and a snow globe. I wish I could take it off right now, but all these books will just fall down. So just mark my words, it's incredible. And then I have a Beauty and the Beast frame back here that has no picture in it. We're working on it. Next up, I have my Stitch Brito figurine, love. And then all of my Lauren Conrad books. I used to be a huge Hills fan, huge, huge Hills fan. And whatever that show was before it, it's not, yeah, Laguna Beach, obsessed with that show too. Over here are a bunch of books that were turned into movies. And have a little zero. One of the first pictures that Adam and I ever took together. And then these are kind of like the darker YA books or some just darker read books. They're books that definitely are a little deeper and a little more traumatic to read. And these are my bookshelves. I'm obsessed with my bookcases. Definitely my favorite, favorite part about this room. Right over here I have my camera. So Adam bought me this camera for my wedding gift. And it is the Canon EOS 80D. And I've noticed a huge change in my video since I started using it. So thank you, baby, I love it so much. The quality is so much better. And he also got me a microphone. So I'm not using it now, obviously, but when I do my sit down videos, hopefully the quality and the sound is a little bit better. So up on this wall, I have my next Toy Story inspired item. It is just Etch-A-Sketch. And I have him on a shelf. Then I have another little canvas and it is a Walt Disney inspired canvas. I'm gonna move the, I'm gonna move the uh, camera out of the way. But it says, first think, second believe, third dream, and finally, dear Walt Disney. I put this up before and a lot of people said that that wasn't a Walt Disney quote, but I found this online, I think it's really cute. So even if it's not a Walt Disney quote, I think it's still really cute. And then right over here, I have the Time Magazine or the Life Magazine that is inspired and dedicated to Walt Disney from Mickey to the Magic Kingdom. Speaking of the Magic Kingdom, next up, I have my Lego castle, my Lego Cinderella's castle. Oh, I love her. She's so beautiful. I bought myself this as a treat last year. I think it was last January. And it took maybe eight hours to make. I made maybe two hours worth. And then Adam and my sister's wife, Steph, my sister-in-law, made the rest. The details in this thing are freaking everything. And it's so cute. Let me do this quickly. If you turn it around, there are like so many details in the back. I just ripped part of it off. Awesome, Allison. So right over here, we have the Beauty and the Beast section. Over here, we just have like a little chest with a bunch of toys. A bed, Sorcerer Mickey's hat, more Beauty and the Beast. I'm just kidding, this wasn't Beauty and the Beast. This was actually Snow White and that's an apple, not a rose. The rose is right down there with Lumiere. Over here, oh, it's just so cute. Down here, grandfather clock. So there's just so many details to this. Thanks again to Adam and Steph for helping me make it. And then on the floor, I have another Toy Story figurine. This is Rex. I used to be able to press him and he would play music, but my nephews kind of, kind of destroyed him a little bit. So I just think it needs some new batteries, but we still love him. Even if he's broken, he's still fabulous. Moving up onto the wall where you will see my second pin board. This is the Beauty and the Beast inspired pin board and on here are of course all of my Beauty and the Beast pins. She is actual goals. This is definitely my favorite pin. 
It said it came from Japan. I ordered it off of eBay. I'm not sure if they have this in the American parks, but if not, it was relatively cheap on eBay and I believe it was free shipping as well. Right up top, I have another quote unquote Disney quote. It says, if you can dream it, you can do it. I was also told that this is not a Disney quote specific, but I don't really care. It looks really cute. And I got this at Francesca's. Next, I have my dream catcher. I've talked to you guys about this several times. I'm a huge dream catcher fan. Absolutely believe in all of them. I got this when I was like 10 and it came from my parents' house and I thought, which room do I want to keep it in? I already had one in my bedroom, so I thought the next best room would be this room. And it just looks so pretty on the wall over here. It adds a lot of character. And then I also have up here another quote. This is from Etsy and it just says, second star to the right and straight on till morning. It's from Peter Pan. And if I ever get another tattoo, I want to get this quote on my rib cage. Ta-da! So these are all of my Toy Story figurines. These are all the ones that I bought pretty much like years and years ago and I just kept them in storage until I was able to create this room or until I was able to buy a house and then create this room. So when I finally bought my house, I was able to take all of these beauties out and unpackage them and put them on the shelves. And I get so many questions from you guys and it's hysterical. You always ask, when you have kids, are you gonna let your kids play with these figurines and the answer is TBD. I would like to say I would let my kids play with them because my kids will hopefully be more important to me than Toy Story figurines, but I might just buy them their own separate ones so they can ruin them as much as they like. Just kidding, I'm gonna let them play with them. Moving over here is another print I bought off of Etsy and it's just like this watercolor, water splatter looking Mickey silhouette. Over here, I used to have a beanbag chair, but Jax absolutely destroyed the C-R-A-P out of it, the crap out of it. So I ended up reusing that one. I have it like all stitched up. I'm gonna bring it into my classroom. And I found this really pretty white lounge chair on Amazon, relatively cheap. It just matches so much better in this room. So I ended up buying this and taking the beanbag out. So if you guys have watched my previous video, I used to have a beanbag chair in here. Now I have this white kind of like magical looking lounge chair. And to make it just a little bit more magical, I added a mini onto it because of course I had to have at least one mini in this room. Right next to the chair on the bottom is Zerg. Another one of my Disney figurines. Over here in this mess are two little baskets that I'm going to be using for filming. This one is a bunch of Office, the Office TV show merchandise that I'm going to be doing a haul on. And this one over here has a bunch of Wish products that I ordered off of Wish.com that I'm also going to be doing a haul on. Moving along. This wall over here is another very magical wall that I love so, so much. First and foremost, I have a bunch of my Disney DVDs on the wall. I don't really buy DVDs too much anymore. We pretty much just order them or buy them off of like iTunes or Hulu or Amazon. But these are all of the DVDs that I do own for Disney and for Pixar. Like I had mentioned, Adam and I went to Alani on part of our honeymoon. We went to Hawaii. We spent like three or four days there. So I printed up this pitch, this pitch, that's a good word, Allison, this print. I'm exhausted, guys. It's been a long day from Alani. And it just kind of like represents our trip, which was my favorite trip of my entire life. Over here, I have another print, not a pick, a print from Francesca's. And then this is hands down my favorite print ever. And you can see my just grossness right now in the reflection. But this I bought off of Etsy and it's just so pretty. The colors, the castle, the scenery, the watercolors, just everything about it like fills my heart with so much happiness. 
And then right up top of there is just a little DIY reindeer that I made out of cardboard and painted white. Moving down to the last wall, you'll see Bullseye just kind of crouching over there in the corner. That's the last Toy Story figurine or Toy Story toy that I have in this room. He needs to be fixed, this is bothering me. He usually sits right out there. There we go, much better. So there's Bullseye, and he's just sitting right next to my desk. And I might have to kind of time this video out a little bit because the sun is going down and the lighting is super, super harsh. BRB. Okay, so the lighting has gotten a little better, not much better, but the sun is going down and it's going to get very dark very soon. And I am filming with natural lighting right now. My camera is dying and I'm very tired from teaching all day. So it's just the trifecta, guys. We're going to keep on moving on and hopefully I'll be able to film this last clip before my camera dies. This is what my actual desk looks like and all of the trinkets and things that I have on top, like my MacBook, this cute little calendar that says November 5th. That is the day that Adam and I got married. A pretty little candle that smells so good. It is hot cocoa and a cream from Bath and Body Works and I think I should have bought them out of the scent in the winter time because oh my god it smells incredible then i have a picture of minnie mouse and myself the day that i got engaged she was like so excited and i love the picture a little globe some roses in the back some fake roses two more sugar skulls one from salem massachusetts and one from the epcot pavilion mexico pavilion if that made any sense to you i have my cell phone and then i have ursula this is one of the limited edition glitter pop funkos. And last but not least, camera, please don't die. I have my gallery. Yay, the light went down. Now everything is getting very dark and it looks all very yellow and I'm just the worst YouTuber ever. But last but not least, finally, to end this office tour, I have my gallery wall. So on this wall are a bunch of prints and my clock and a bunch of paintings and some ears and my YouTube play button that I'm so, so proud of. Thank you guys so much again for allowing me to even receive that. And just a bunch of different sayings that again are meaningful to me. It is not complete yet, but I'm working on it. I don't think it's ever going to be complete. I love just like swapping things out, whatever my mood is feeling at the time, especially like my little Pipple poster, it's so cute. Looks just like Jack's. I got this off of Etsy or Amazon, but I think it was Etsy. So anytime I find something that is meaningful to me, whether it's Etsy or Amazon, or I just see it at Francesca's or at Target or anywhere, Along those lines, I like to buy it and put it up on this wall. So I still have to do all up top there, all the way over there, and all the way over here. But for now, I'm really proud of it. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you enjoy my videos. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you for all of your unending support. It means the absolute world to me. I hope that you're having a beautiful day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.